South Carolina's coast looked serene on Wednesday, but the picture may be quite different on Friday morning. Hurricane Florence is expected to be a long-duration, high-impact event for much of South Carolina, including areas well inland from the coast. Officials warned coastal residents to leave while they still can because there may not be any help available if they need it after the storm. Florence comes with strong winds that are bound to topple trees, break electric lines, and damage roofs, even in places well away from the coast. That's the biggest thing when it comes to hurricanes is worrying about the wind-driven rain and uh, what could actually be torn off, uh, especially like at the, the bottom part of your roof and whatnot. Um, it doesn't matter. It, if these power lines are going to come down, it's, it's going to be it's going to be pretty bad. North Carolina is projected to be the hardest hit, but officials warned that Florence is unpredictable and could still change course. Coastal residents have boarded their homes and took what precautions they could before heading inland. Right now it's uh, anxiety and adrenaline to do what we can. Uh, not really fear because uh, there's not a whole lot we can control at this point, uh, but it's the uh, uh, unknown that we're worried about and not knowing what's coming and when it'll come and how it'll come. U.S. President Donald Trump said the government is well prepared for the storm. We're ready. We're able. We've got the finest people, I think, anywhere in the world. Just two months ago, the Trump administration transferred nearly $10 million from the Federal Emergency Management Agency to the Immigration and Customs Enforcement to help fund the deportation of illegal immigrants. A FEMA official said Wednesday this will not affect the agency's response to the storm. We have plenty of resources to respond. We have plenty of resources to recover. Uh, that has not impacted our situation whatsoever. Both FEMA and ICE are part of the Department of Homeland Security, and the transfer is legal. But critics object to the transfer of funds right before hurricane season. Zlarica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.